Okay. Oops. I'd like to bring to order the February 5th, 2019 meeting of the Natural Resources Board. Um, you can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance. 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 Pledge of
um, according to Alan, uh, is it Alan? I think I can't remember the EPA contact. Mm -hmm. Uh, sounds slow. Adam. 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 So, but we'll know more this Friday. But everything's getting rolling back again. Hopefully, it was a little the tricky. government stays open. Yeah, it's been with him not being able to moderate between all of us. So, it's very challenging. But you know, we're. I think we should still consider this moving forward. Yeah. Okay. Is this something we should um, try and bring to the city council earlier rather than later? When it would be the next opportunity to present it to the city council? Uh, would have to be submitted. I'll have to double check on that. I don't want to. Okay. Well, let's. We'll know more on Friday anyway. Yeah. And so next meeting, we'll know whether we want to advance it to the city council or not. Okay. All right. Do you have the information for the dial-in number? Oh, yeah. Yes, we can get it to you. What's that? The dial in from Adam. Call. Alan. Adam. And he, has, he hasn't set the date yet. We're still it's collecting on the date. I thought we were having him one Friday. He did. I didn't read the last one. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Friday, I think, 1 o'clock maybe? I don't know. Uh, he hasn't set the time yet. He got I'll forward it to everybody so okay, anybody yeah. that wants to uh, tune in can tune in. No, it's, it's on the phone. It, it's just a call in, yeah, audio. Uh -huh. If you have an app, you might be able to do the video too, but. A lot of people from across the way here in the Indian River. Uh, doing Different council. environmental groups are, are um, and who are part with the minutes, or with the packet of minutes from last time, I have the minutes from our first meeting. Uh, and I'll have a list of everyone and where they, where they are represented from. It's in the packet from last time. He, he is a consultant for the EPA. His name's Adam Saslov and he's from Atlanta. And he was invited here by in the Lagoon Council to uh, bring the Trash Free Waters program to help develop programs. Hmm? It's, and, yeah. and also our partner, Keep Rivard Beautiful, uh, who manages the Litter Quitter program. They're, they're also involved. Looking to roll it out into well, the Indian River. So. All right, um, so no further questions, we'll move on to the um, item B there. So we've got the Earth Day and Arbor Day celebration. Um, so we have some updates from our previously assigned tasks. Um, I can start, unfortunately, I don't have. I've been working on trying to get the, um, the environmental vendors information and I'm working with Rose to try and figure out which of the, we have a list of vendors I think that you and I are kind of sharing that have the retail and food as well as the environmental. So I didn't want to contact people redundantly. Have you contacted anybody I, on that I, list yet? I've only sent out the, uh, the invitation to be a vendor page to the list of emails that I got. Oh, so did you send them out to all of that list? Oh, that entire list then. Okay. All right. I actually, uh, I only realized that when I called, um, I called waste management. Amy Boyson, and she's like, I already filled the application. I was like, okay, great. Well, I'm just calling to get the specifics. And so well, it's very interesting. Contact them again because it really wouldn't matter. Okay. Um, all right. So I can reach out specifically to the environmental uh, vendors then. Have and there's some that aren't on our list that we might want to add, you know. Which, what's that? There, there may be some that aren't on our list that we want to add, okay. other ones we want to invite. Okay. I, all right, I'll take a closer look. Um, have you been using the Earth Day email, the NRB Earth Day Gmail account? Everything that they gave me, the login straight through the servers. Okay, that, yeah. all right, because I was I trying just to look. Any response yet? Okay. All right. One um, person I saw that was on this list um, for things to do. 
um, Alexis Peralta from the Public Works from Stormwater Division. Um, she has actually submitted her, I want to say it was a couple days ago, so she has submitted her application and she's working on um, creating a flyer of her own to put around. And so she is interested and she will be there. I spoke with her. Oh, okay. I had to speak with her about something else and then I just added that. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm gonna okay. be there. Yep, so I think we're good with that. All right, so I'll work on that then. And we arranged in the meeting to have um, a volunteer cop to, for crossing, because they crossed the street to the sidewalk and we had an issue with that last year, so she will have a volunteer cop to be crossing guard. If we, I guess we can go through the list. I don't know, Charles, do you have any other updates on the retail and food vendors? I haven't had any response yet. But it's only been a week or so since we had that last meeting, so I don't know if okay. <clears throat> Still, it seems that someone... Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, can we just go through the list here of sure. things that we need to start with entertainment and Brian probably has some updates there. Uh, well, we, we do have some things going on in entertainment. We do have a signed contract with Soul Jam. However, it was signed uh, under the assumption that we had a, an uh, audio system that would work for a rock and roll band, but, but we don't. It was actually a... Uh, PA public address system, which is plug and play, not the stage itself. So, uh, based upon that, we'll be looking for some bids from suppliers for amplification needs, um, and hopefully we can get something reasonable. Otherwise, I'm not sure what we'll, we'll do. We can still go with Little Dynamite and a couple of the other acts so that they would easily, you know, be able to be. Uh, set up without extensive uh, miking. You know, Soul Jam is requesting 16 microphones, four monitors, two input outputs, and, uh, and, and, and a partridge in a pear tree. But, uh, so the first bit was very extreme. In a green room, a fruit basket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, only green M&Ms. Uh, but but, but uh, the first bit was shockingly high. In which case, you know, if that's the case, my recommendation would be to see if we can cancel the contract with them based upon the fact that we can't provide what they expected from, from the amplification and, and go with the other acts which are more amateur or more grateful, not as professional, <laughs> and more local in that, in that sense, although Soul Jam is very Whose local electronics too. are just not as complicated. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, exactly, exactly, tambourine. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll know, we'll know soon enough, I think, in yeah, the next few days, I'll know exactly what the cost will be. When does this have to go out? This, this, I know this looks great, by it the does way, look Kim. Great. I, yeah. I'm amazing, and but when, uh, when, when, when are we? Have we already posted this anywhere? <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. 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 You can hold off. A couple of days at least. Yeah. Okay. So we see as a um, when you look over the sheet kind of used last year's as a guide, but then changed it up. Mm -hmm. And I put next to it uh, who's responsible for those things. Uh, the NRB website and getting the, the MIS work order to get it on the TV station or flyer and stuff, I'll, I'll take care of that because that's as simple as submitting MIS work order So for me, so. <clears throat> I have here, here at the bottom for park layout. Once we start to get information from vendors, um, do you we want have, us? We have. We got the park layout right from our meeting the other day, right? It's just the park. It's not the, where the booths go and everything. Oh. So well, there's well, another. No, no, there's another. I thought these were the booths, right? Or are those? No. They had one where the booths go. They have one with the booths, and then I have one with the with the layout of the park, okay. but we don't have one that has both. Okay. That's what we're working on. Okay. okay. And they need it for all events, so. <clears throat> so 
so for you know for myself for any vendors that I get information back or you know that we get information back we'll just kind of compile all of those packets do you want us to send those to you as soon as we get them do you want us to wait until that yes so we'll just keep because we need to um, we need some information on them to submit for the fire permit gotcha okay <clears throat> all right so we'll just keep forward them uh, Looks like so many of the things, um, you know, from the city of Sebastian, those are going to be taken care of um, this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so raffle. Um, Charles, in the email that you had sent out, what, did it say anything about requesting prizes for a raffle of any sort? No, it's I can still read. Oh, it is on the, it is on the vendor application. It's on the vendor uh, application. Yeah, I was right. say, if it's, if it's not on there, if, if I didn't put it. Okay. I put it on the vendor application, okay, and yeah. I put it, or sponsor activity, or, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so master ceremony. So is there someone who would be willing to announce bands, ask the member questions, give outdoor prizes? How do we do that last year? Didn't we just kind of do that? Was, was there a, that couple who was the DJ last year? They didn't. D, they do all our other community events, but they didn't do our Earth Day last year. Uh, Rose just did it last year. Rose did it last mm -hmm. year. And she did the raffle and was kind of the announcer, the time, the timekeeper. So it'd be someone who's just going to stay at the NRB booth and jump to the microphone in between acts, introduce an act, you know, announce a new raffle. I wouldn't mind doing it, but I'm doing the the tourist thing. But last year, I it was fun. I really liked doing that. By the, way. the kids had such a good time, and it was it was totally something I wasn't expecting until we got it all set up. It was pretty cute. But it, it was really nice. But it is right next to the stage, and I can go back and. And we we'll have forth. volunteers. To That's what help. we did last year, and it seemed to work out. Okay. You know, I don't. You have a good voice that'll travel well with the microphone. That'd be good. Tours, Master of Ceremonies Day. Yeah. <laughs> so do we have? Do we ha should we assign someone in charge of raffles as well? Is that well, what? Well, they'll the announce the raffle too. We do, we need someone to just organize the raffle prizes. You have to collect them as the as the the, as the vendors arrive and solicit mm -hmm. some of them that didn't submit that maybe they might want to or some late applications. I'm happy to help out with that because I feel like I'll be um, helping out with the scavenger hunt anyway, so I can help too. Okay. Um, we've got our gopher tortoise activities. So scavenger hunt. I don't know if I have the file from last year. Do you happen to have it? I have it from last year. We just need to, you know, you have to put new stuff on it. But along the same lines, I think we came up with really good things on there, mm -hmm. really good items. So the same like kind of interactive things. Yeah, so they can change it up a little bit. Okay, all right, perfect. And we still have those little clipboards that we'll be able mm -hmm. to use. Awesome. Um, and then we've got the chalk art contest. And then we've got other activities underneath there. Um, yeah, I think we talked about this earlier in a, a previous meeting that if we can get some of the um, environmental organizations to do some activities, then I think we'll we can handle the scavenger hunt and be there. Um, and so I'll make sure when I send out emails specifically to those environmental organizations to kind of encourage that. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got volunteers up next. And so I am um, prepared to know what the list is that I'm supposed to go after. Like a packet to your hand. Sure, hand I think today. did I write in here? I wrote in here that the Boys and Girls Club and the Charter Middle School, they were our main volunteer groups last year. Um, that's mainly because it was the same as Earth Day, so a lot of groups were already committed. Uh, but I need a list of other groups and contacts. Um, I also have a list of just Natural Resource Board volunteers, people that have volunteered with us in groups. Um, and so I'll give you the full email list, just send the whole email list to you, and you can solicit them. Cool, thank you. It makes sense to me that um, marketing unless I'm misunderstanding that when you distribute the flyer to the schools aren't you also hand in hand the uh, schools are I spoke to all yeah. of them uh, well actually there's um, a caveat to that we need to contact the Indian River School District and ask for permission to distribute the flyers to the individual elementary schools okay I can do that okay 
but um, as long as I'm talking about that, the, uh, I contacted everyone else on the list that Kim provided, and everyone, of course, wants to receive the flyers. The um, majority should look to go out between uh, the middle of uh, March uh, to the first week or so of April, but the Chamber of Commerce would like them immediately. They'd like 50 flyers to start handing out. Okay. And, uh, that Thank was the, the one that wanted it right away. That's actually a great idea. My, um, my son is in kindergarten, and he occasionally will get little flyers for like, uh, sports activities or lessons or that kind right. of thing. Yeah. So you can make a kind of miniature version that can go into all their agenda. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, this I'm going to make a black and white version, and we have a uh, different colored paper we use for the, we did the same thing for the Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt. So we have a bunch of that colored paper. So I'm going to try to snag that from Parks and Rec, and then I'll make like a good black and white type 8 and a half by 11 sheet paper flyer. Okay, cool. Um, with the volunteer thing, um, it talks about being at the, the booth, so maybe um, I can assist Charles with playing backup, but being there to sign anything needed for volunteers in case the students want to sign off on it? We'll have a sheet. Like, uh, I make sure we have a, a sheet out and they can sign in their name, their their affiliation, so I can get each, if anyone needs credit for their volunteer hours, they can get it. Yeah. Many of the students will have a volunteer form, so you're right, if they may be bringing something, especially from middle school or high school. Um, so that yeah, it would be good to have people on hand to, to sign that. I'm not sure I submitted, uh, I don't think, Boys and Girls Club didn't bring a sheet, but uh, the Charter Middle, I submitted them a list of the volunteers. Oh, that's right, the Charter, yeah. Yeah, I just sent it to their office. Okay. Okay. Um, NRB booth, need to streamline my message, so for volunteers, remote current projects. Um, okay. So for promoting current projects, can we include on there our, like, can we essentially be advertising kind of for litter quitter and, you know, reduction of plastics? Do we have things, we had some um, examples of non-plastic items from last year. I don't know if you still have those, Kim, or? I do. Yes? I okay. saw the, the, the table and everything. Yeah, that's oh, and that's fine. the board and everything. Okay. And I'm not sure, I don't know what a tree cookie is. Oh, it's a, if you take the, the trunk of a tree and you slice and you have that round disc that you can get from the trunk. Yeah. It's called a tree cookie. Mm -hmm. And then it's a real easy activity where, it, where you have it set out, people always stop and look at it, where you can show them like years of drought, years of, you know, uh, water, you can see where it burned, you can see there are, you know, a lot of things you can tell from looking at a tree. Okay. So we have a neat, like something interactive that gets them to stop and interact with our, our booth more. Yeah. I think one of the questions we had a lot of last year, because we had so many of the plastics and the, you know, the alternative items, um, is people really were asking a lot about what can be recycled and what can't be recycled, um, which I was surprised. I mean, it, I know that it's more complicated than um, than just plastics go in the recycle bin. So maybe we can include that, and, and maybe if we make our, make our focus kind of. Um, reduce, reuse, recycle kind of idea, and then focus all around that, that might. I agree with that completely. I'm all, always confused myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been starting at the at the high school, and it's it's hard. Um, you need a lot of training to get there, so. I always forget the pet food cans. Oh, shit, then. They're 10, they can't be recycled. <laughs> okay. Um, is that something that where waste management's located that they can help with that because you're kind of already bringing it your materials there? Yeah. Them, I mean, you know, I don't know. It's single. They're single streams. So I mean, that, that what I what I'm confused about what that means exactly. You, you just put all your plastic together with your paper and you put it into your bin and they separate it there at the at the facility, right? Right. But there yet there's trash and food waste just goes to the landfill. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what you do. 
Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can think of some kind of interactive idea. Maybe some kind of a game where people are guessing what can and can't be recycled type of thing. You know, the Turtle Sanctuary store up there in Melbourne, they sell these uh, really beautiful metal straws that have a different kind of color, the way they're fired or whatever. But they've got a lot of stuff that, that I don't know if we should reach out to them if they've been reached out to as a partner, but certainly they would be ideal, right? Office there. You've never been in there. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'll go in there next time I'm up there and ask them if they're interested. In <laughs> um, okay. So we'll work on ideas for the the booth. Um, John, I already talked about marketing. The, well, yeah, that? marketing I discussed with the phone calling. But uh, one question, Kim, is that uh, is the press release ready yet to send out? I didn't want to contact those newspapers before I had it in my hands. Right. Yeah, I, I have to draft it. Then I have to go through the proper channels for approval. Okay. All right. Um, and that's so we can advance. We've got that. Um, okay. We've made our way through the list. Anything in addition to that? Can I, can I ask uh, something? Um, I didn't know that. I want to get the board's feeling about um, serving beer and wine at the Earth Day. Just because it's an it's an Earth product, we have two local breweries here that would be glad to be Paper involved cups. with it. Yeah, beer is made by a fermented product. It's all earthy. I just wanted to get the feel from the board if, if there was any support for it. We also have a local winery as well that would, and I don't know if any of you guys have been there, but that is all about the earth. Mm -hmm. And then with our other vendors and everything else that goes along with it, we're only allowed to serve beer and wine at city-sponsored events. And this is only one of two or three for the year. And I didn't know if you guys were interested in pursuing something like that. If not, I mean, that's okay, but I just wanted to add to what we were doing, and I don't know if it would be a good mix or not. I can get a, can, just some ideas. Well, I think it's interesting, but it would have to be paper cups for sure. Absolutely, yeah. and straws too. Yeah. I'd already discussed with them, like, if would you be interested? They're like, absolutely. And uh, um, I said, you know, you can't use plastic cups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we don't anyway. <laughs> but both our local breweries have already, they're already, they're, I mean, they're, Matchbox well, isn't letter quitter yet, but they have bamboo straws. They don't have plastic cups. They, do we have to get any special, it's um, thing, right? yeah. It's a police it's, thing, too, where they yeah, have to Yeah, yeah, and it has to go through city yeah. council. So this is something um, that even if a party rents one of our rooms and wants to have alcohol, they have to get approval through city council, so. Well, that's a little different. That's not a city-sponsored event, and mm -hmm. and you can only do it at a city-sponsored event without much of a hassle. I don't know. But, but I was wondering if the, if the board wanted to do it before we pursued it any further. I, mean, I, I think given that Periodola is one of the first, is the first litter quitter in the city, I think we don't, we would feel, uh, you know, we feel, I feel a little bit obligated to ask them. But on the other hand, you have the whole family thing and you have alcohol and, you know, when would it be served from? You mm -hmm. certainly don't want to serve it at nine in the morning. I hope mm -hmm. not. <laughs> Just like any other vendor, <laughs> and that's the way I was going to treat it. But I wanted to get a f feel from the board, you know, because you guys have already noticed I like to go and do things on my own. But <laughs> it's, well, um, listen, I, I mean, I don't, you know, as as a, would they, they would be a vendor, so they would right. be a, a, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a, I should consult with staff yeah. Yeah, on yeah. the possibility before we you know, press any further. Yeah. Yep. Is that something that illegal? You, you're interested I'm in cool. I'm okay with it. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't see any. You know, I mean, as far as the, it's still. What about you? Yeah, no, I'm you're fine with it. If, uh, yeah, as president, yeah. new Long board member. Yeah. Okay, great. I think it's interesting if, especially if they're able to contribute in some way, like you, you mentioned, the litter quitter, and and bring that kind of uh, as a presence in front of everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm in favor. If it, 
workshop? Well, really, we should think about maybe even having a, a prize mm -hmm. for Periodola to be presented to them as, you know, a surprise, maybe, um, because of their efforts and, and being the first litter quitter in the city. Um, we could. I, I... A golden pelican? <laughs> until the, I think until the city council has given their formal support for us to be a participant of letter quitter that we shouldn't uh, represent letter quitter at this point. Well, we would just be representing the natural resources board and a golden, you know, whatever. I mean, our, you know, prize for making the effort, you know, and, and, and as a result of their effort, we're, we've become more active in it ourselves and are looking to expand the program into the Indian River County. So, I don't, I don't know, I, don't, I think that would be a, probably a pretty good thing. Something to talk about on the stage other than the gopher turtle. Yeah. I think, I mean, we have we have uh, a couple of different things. Are you going to dress as a gopher turtle? Molly that'd be great. Trying paper <laughs> straw. Hiram's is trying to get, you know. So. Yeah, we can mention them all, but, but as, you know, and the as, as our first as our first, you know, one I think that's doing the most, I think we have to be them. Maybe it's a discussion of, you know, this is what businesses are doing in Sebastian. You know, right. this is what they're yeah. doing to reduce their plastic already. Set up all mm -hmm. I would like to make an acknowledgement, at least for all of them. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Do we have to have city council approval for beer and wine to be served there? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Nah. <laughs> if, um, if, if you just wanted to rent a room, you would have to have approval. Yeah, but so, not of course, this is a huge event. thing for an event. I know, so. I know. I'm messing with you. <laughs> so, um, speaking of drinks, Cam, can I, because um, I think I forgot to ask last time, do we, or um, have you had any contact with kind of like a water truck of any sort that would bring? It's expensive. It is expensive. Yeah. I've, I'm going, uh, two people still haven't gotten back to me, but the one who did okay. was like, it was like, uh, well, again, $10,000. Oh, Whoa, do you, we don't need one that big, you know. But What about uh, like large water coolers or any kind of local um, water delivery places that might be able to bring in anything like that? Um, I, I don't know, that would be a different angle. And I also think maybe we should talk to our, the county water department. And maybe they do something for events in Vero, uh, because my research showed that a lot of uh, municipalities that provide the water, they usually have their own sort of like a rolling cool water cooler kind of thing set up. Oh. So uh, they might have something we don't know about. Okay. Does anyone, anyone want to try and call the county water department? I even called the woman in Tallahassee who made her own to see how much it cost her. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty neat. It was expensive. Okay. Involved in the scavenger hunt. What's that? For the scavenger hunt, what is involved in it? What is it? You, um, what's the hunt? I want to say, so what we did last year is we tried to get students, uh, students, sorry, I'm in school mode. Um, we tried to get the kiddos to go around to different locations, um, observing different types of trees that were in the park, um, so looking at different tree species. Um, I want to say that we were looking, they had to go over to the statue as well, um, participate in the chalk contest and what were some of the kind of take home messages about um, water pollution. I think what else do we have? I can send you the, the yeah. scavenger and look over it. We'd love it and any input. So mm -hmm. I'll send it out. I'll send it out to everyone and get some input. I'm sure everyone will have an idea. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I think we all have our marching orders for next month. Okay. All right. Um, any member matters for item number nine? I was wondering if um, for future event, um, in my past when I, we did this Earth Day, we, I mean, there's a waterfront around here, but we we looked at contributing um, waterways to, went into the Delaware River and then to the Atlantic. I'm from the Philadelphia area. And so um, we always acted locally. So our local community always went to the local tributaries. We had like a canal day or we had, um, which went right along the Schuylkill River, if you could spell that. I, it's a major river right along Philadelphia. Um, 
I was wondering if, you know, looking into or even thinking about it, you know, announcing it, this, that maybe for the next year, we can plan a, a cleanup kind of event that goes along with this, because it was very much a part of, remember, um, Earth Day is what it's about and what we want to do in, in our preservation. So I was just wondering if it might be too late this year, but for next year's planning or even incorporating it into what we're saying at our booth or our messaging. Well, Keep Indian River Beautiful did have a cleanup last year at the Earth Day event. And, um, and they'll probably sponsor one again this year. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think one of the things with the, the cleanups, you know, will they be using like big plastic bags or buckets? I know that, that sounds like a weird question. But what I've found, as with my students, I tend to do a lot of cleanups. And so one of the things is they're handing out big plastic bags to everyone that you end up using more plastic bags than you actually are picking up off of the ground. So if we can encourage, or you know, even if we just have buckets, I don't know if the city has buckets that we might be able to use that we could bring and kind of provide so that there's less plastic. Oh, we do, we have a lot of buckets. Okay. It'd be good for whoever is doing the public <laughs> announcement to <coughs> mention that too, just so people are aware when they host their own events, you know. Right. The Oyster Garden has at least five that I know we can okay. use, so. All right, perfect. Okay. All right, cool. Um, okay, items for next agenda. We've got two, so we'll um, continue to work on the Earth Day, Arbor Day celebration and bring our updates. Um, it's nice that we're able to email each other, too, so we can kind of contact each other between now and then. Just So you want to be CC'd on everything that we are... Yeah, just to, like, announce that... Um, we, uh, I met with the this, this city lawyer, and he said that as long as we, as you are communicating with each other about the organizi organizing of the event and no decisions are made that are action items that affect how this board runs or what its initiatives are, then it's perfectly fine. So mm. for the purpose of this event. Uh, I just want to stay up on what's going on. So it'd be great if you copied me on it or forwarded me whatever, just so I know. So I have one, one just back to the event. Uh, in terms of dollars available, if we allocate $300 for Soul Jam, how much money do we have available for amplification? I put right on the front page of that. F 1500 is the total, right? That's our total for the year. So that's Total for the year, okay. Right, I've done the second page, sorry. No. <laughs> Okay. okay. We paid 300 for musicians last year. I know, I know. But they, they brought their own amplification. No, actually, um, there was a problem with the system, and yeah, one of the bands had their own, and everyone else, used, yeah. everyone else used that same, that? Yeah, that same system. That's what it was. It was a PA system. No, well, no. so only one band, I think, brought their own amplification system, and then everyone else just ended up using that same yeah, right. And Unfortunately, I asked the soldier yeah. if they were willing to do that, and they said no. <laughs> so, but we'll figure it out. See about we checked into renting one. I I've gotten one quote already, but uh, I'm I'm looking for a couple more. So. Okay. I've got one one that I know is coming in this week, and I've got to find another one. But I'm going out to see these guys in Marsh Landing right now, and they're. They've been doing amateur night out there for 20 years, so they might have everything we need. Like if some group or organization had one, and they could let us use it, and then we could say, you know, uh, um, just a name like a uh, sound, sound, we have a sign, sound system provided. We're, by Marsh Landing Restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm game with, I'm down for right? whatever it takes. We're, we're uh, shameless. Yeah. They get a free food. They can That's bring some food down and sell it. Yeah. So they do catering. They they can do some bring some stuff down for lunch. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. And we've got our business initiative. We'll continue talking about that after we get more information on Friday. And I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. I second. And all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.